Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Um, I was over at my parents' house on Sunday. And my mom surprised me with some samples and I took a look at the samples and uh, it turned out they were all women's samples. And uh, if you watch my channel, you, you do know that sometimes I do occasionally check out the ladies' fragrances to try to add a little bit of balance to my channel and knowing that not a lot of guys give enough attention to the women's fragrances so I thought sure why not I'm on vacation this week now would be the perfect time to test out fragrances that I normally wouldn't wear at work anyway so first one I'm gonna uh, review from those samples is a Giorgio Armani fragrance called C and this is what the bottle looks like there now this fragrance is classified as a Chypre Fruity, came out in 2013, and the face of this fragrance is Kate Blanchett. Uh, the notes are in the top Cassis, middle notes are Freesia and May Rose, and in the base Vanilla, Patchouli, Ambroxan, and Woody Notes. And at base notes, one positive, two neutral, two negative. And I wasn't really sure what Cassis was, so I did some research. And Cassis is actually a syrupy liquor that's flavored with black currant. Now, I was testing this one out today. I actually gave it a pretty full wearing. I was basically sitting at the house watching a movie. And uh, I didn't really get like a berry or black currant vibe with this one. Um, it actually came across more of like a peach kind of a smell to my nose sort of like a floral peach and definitely some sweetness there which is probably from either the natural sweetness of the cassis or possibly the vanilla it didn't really come across as like a true vanilla fragrance to me more of a fruity floral musk kind of a smell and uh, something kind of gives it a bit of an aldehyde kind of a quality as well so definitely has like a classiness to it which would make it probably great for like you know 30 and up business women you know the business suit power kind of a thing going on so great day wear fragrance I think um, it seems to be lasting pretty good but it never really seemed to be overpowering either so I do think this would be a good classy work fragrance and maybe evening wear as well it's not like a real heady fragrance from what I'm smelling on myself but you know just a nice light long-lasting close to the skin scent so I think that's pretty much it I'll probably give this one about a 7 out of 10 kind of reminds me of a lot of the other fruity floral type fragrances that I've smelled before maybe this one's not quite as flirty and fun and girly uh, when I say girly like like teenager type fragrances this is more of a classy fragrance with a hint of that girly flirty uh, aspect to it because of the sweetness and the fruitiness but uh, yes if you're looking for a good balance between classy and sophisticated and flirty and fun I think this one might be a good one and being a Giorgia Armani fragrance don't expect it to be too cheap <laughs> uh, even at fragrance net uh, the 1.7 is going to be about $68 and if you go for the 100 ml close to $90 for that so uh, yeah, I'll give this one about a 7 out of 10. Check it out if you like uh, fruity floral type smells, sweet vanilla, kind of a peach kind of a smell. So that's my review. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.